is and what it's not. Um, and more importantly, to explain exactly what it is that you need to know to be successful with it. So pay attention. Now, this is the Atlassian landscape of tools and all the teams and the areas they support. There's a ton of them. Jira service management, management kind of inhibits that right-hand side, the ITSM and IT ops space. But it's important to understand that JSM is still part of your larger Atlassian ecosystem. That's actually one of the benefits. It's having that flow of work between your service desk and your support teams and the other dev teams or other teams using Jira. So it's actually one of the, the main benefits. It's dev and ops that flows end-to-end -end traceability and not having people working in separate siloed tools. Another core tenet is making work visible, providing an open collaborative platform that brings greater visibility to work. It's so that your teams have got that rich contextual information at their fingertips, which means they can move fast and make better decisions. And if they can move fast, you can deliver value more quickly, providing a great service experience to your users, which uh, at the end of the day is the whole point, really. Now, I think this all sounds lovely, um, but the cynics out there, and there might be a few, might think it's a little wishy-washy. It's kind of marketing speak. So let's back it up with some data. There are actual improvements in productivity and some financial savings to using JSM as well. Um, Forrester did a report on the economic impact of consulting tools and found that by implementing Atlassian JSM, you had an average of 246% return on investment for the average implementation. We're going to share this report with you after the masterclass so you can review the sums and see what average is. But they also reported an average of 61% improvement in agent productivity. 61% is massive. And that was across teams of all sizes. And lastly, there was an average saving of up to $819,000 in enterprises that retired their legacy ITSM tools over the first three years. So if you're considering moving to JSM, I think that's some food for thought. And for those of you who have already got Jira service management, well done, um, you're gonna look like a hero. But only if, and this is the important bit, you use JSM as it's meant to be used.